I'm Kyle, the creator of XYZ Mesh. XYZ Mesh is an application used for plotting XYZ data inside of Microsoft Excel with Microsoft Excel formatted graphs and visual representations and some other exports as well. This is the first video in our series of videos where I'm going to be stepping you through how to use XYZ Mesh and showing you its full potential. If you would like to follow along with this series of videos, XYZ Mesh does offer a full functional evaluation period of five days with every downloaded copy. If you'd like to download a copy and follow along with us, the download is going to be in the description down below. In today's video, I will focus on the basics, how to get started with XYZ Mesh, how to install and how to view data, and how to export your data in some simple formats. XYZ Mesh is an application that takes XYZ data and plots that data in a 3D surface. That surface can then be exported into multiple formats, all of which are contained inside of their own file. In simple terms, XYZ Mesh exports files that can be shared and viewed by anyone with a compatible machine or a version of Microsoft Excel. Unlike other graphing applications, no extra software is required or add-ins needed for the receiver to view your data and interact with it. These exported formats include Microsoft Excel with meshes, surface graphs, line graphs, wire plots, and scatter plots, as well as CSV documents and text-based databases, and even a fully interactive 3D environment, new to version 10 but we will get to all that in a later video. For now, just know that XYZ Mesh's main selling point is the ability to share your plots with pretty much anyone. And the best part of it is there's no programming required or any large learning curve involved. As mentioned before, XYZ Mesh version 10 comes with a fully functional 5-day evaluation period before the standard trial is activated. This evaluation period allows users to obtain and try out all the features of XYZ Mesh before they purchase to see if the product is the right purchase for them. To obtain your free copy of XYZ Mesh, navigate to the main site and scroll down until you see the black border box that reads Download Your Trial. Input your information, or if you would rather not, just type in a fake email and your link will be generated. It should be known that it's a very common issue for virus scan applications to automatically assume that any application downloaded from the internet is a potential virus. These protection protocols often do not scan the entire file, instead they just see that it's an application and that it did not come from a larger company like Microsoft. If you are ever in doubt about an online file containing something unsafe, you can use this free online scan called VirusTotal. This is a free online service that can be used to scan any document and check if it contains anything malicious. This online service will send this file through up to 70 different virus scan applications and protocols to ensure that it is safe. Now from my testing, it is common for one to 10 flags to come back positive while using this fire scan. These are typically associated with AI scanners and often come back as false positives because they are based off of either the amount of times a file has been downloaded or just the fact that it is an application in general. Please do not install anything that you do not feel safe installing. Always consult with your IT personnel or professional if you are in a company or organization before you do anything on a machine, especially a machine that is not yours. Once you downloaded the file from our website, you will notice that it is contained in a zip document. Go ahead and extract the document and run the installer. In some cases, you might need to run the application under administrative privileges, as it really depends on your computer security settings if you'll need to do this or not. Install as normal, and once installed, XYZ Mesh will activate the five-day full product evaluation. Now that you have XYZ Mesh installed, what do you do with it? First, you are going to need a series of XYZ data. If you do not have some sample data for this, you can obtain some on our website. Right above the trial download, you will see a download link for some of our sample files. 
Select your XYZ data from your spreadsheet viewer and copy it. Once copied, go back to XYZ Mesh. With the cell highlighted, right click on the cell and select Paste from the mouse menu. You will now see your data populate and a graph appear on the right side of the screen showing your new data points. Just like everything else in XYZ Mesh, the visible plot is simple to operate. Intuitive mouse controls allow you to drag and drop and rotate the graph in three-dimensional space. The rotation commands can be controlled with either the left or right mouse click. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. To pan, hold down on the left and right click buttons to drag the graph to the direction you'd like to pan. There are several other types of graphs that XYZ Mesh can produce, but we will get to those in a moment. For now, just know that simple scatter plots is not the limitations of XYZ Mesh. Now that we have the XYZ data graphing, what can we do with it? Well, there are several options. First, let's start with the most simple, a mesh conversion. Once the data is placed inside of XYZ Mesh, simply click the Convert to Mesh button and watch as your data is converted into a mesh format. When converting to mesh, your new data will appear on the right in a brand new data table. There are lots of things going on in the background when these calculations are run and we will cover them in a later video. For now, the only settings that really matter to us is the complete curve and the auto adjust decimal. These two settings are on by default and what they do is guarantee guarantee that the plot you generate will have no empty gaps or spaces in between the data points. From here, the logical path would be to take the converted data and export it into a graph that we can share. For instance, a Microsoft Excel surface graph. To do this, click Export to Excel. A new window will appear that will give you the option for company branding. All tiers of the Excel Draw license will allow you to export your data into Excel. However, only the higher business tier of licensing will allow you to put in company branding. Input your information as needed or leave it blank and when ready click export and wait as all your data is processed into an Excel document with the selected graph populated. Interpolation is the ability to curve data and fill in empty data points without converting the data to mesh first. For instance, say you want to keep your data in an XYZ format, but you still want to generate new points and fill in any empty gaps that there might be in your data. That is called interpolation. If you want to keep your data in an XYZ format, but you still want to fill in the empty data points, just click the interpolate button. This will take longer for the more data points you have. However, the data will be filled in and any empty gaps will be curved. When the data is completed, a window will appear asking you if you'd like to save the converted data into a CSV. By default, the original data will not be overwritten. However, if your goal is to keep the data inside of XYZ Mesh and possibly do something else with it, you are going to want to check mark the auto interpolation. Having this option turned on will make interpolated data automatically overwrite the original data in the input tab. Excel scatter plots can be created by exporting data that has not been converted into mesh. This can either be data that you just pasted into XYZ Mesh or data that you have interpolated. Either way, when ready, click the export button. You will notice that there are still options for company branding, but now there are other options for graphs, specifically line or scatter plots. Let's select scatter plot and then export to Excel. Shortly, an Excel document will open with the new scatter plot visible. You can also adjust the rotations and the X, Y, and Z walls inside of this Excel document. And this functionality also extends to the end user or the person that you send this Excel document to. They can also manipulate the rotations and the X, Y, and Z walls as well. Now there are other features to dive into like 3D rendering and interactive environments, but this video is already getting a little too long for what it was meant for. After all, everything that I have explained can be completed in less than 30 seconds inside of XYZ Mesh, and yet it has taken us well more than 30 seconds for me to explain it. 
In our next video, we will be starting to look at the individual settings in more details. If you would like to try XYZ Mesh out for yourself, you can obtain your own copy in the description down below. Thank you all very much. I hope that you found this video helpful. And until next time, have a great rest of your day.